control the underwater viewing. What happened here with uh, if you have an issue with the size of the parking lot, Laura, then you can call the state agencies and ask them why they mandate they have to have an accommodate X amount of parking in any park in the state. They're not given SeaWorld any more land. So you can take that up with your boy Gavin Newsom. That is a state requirement. That's why Disneyland is constantly having to build new parking structures. Per capita, you have to offer X amount of parking spots to be able to be in business. So that, that is a really stupid argument. That, that, that doesn't hold up at all. SeaWorld has no control on that. Every time they try to build in the parking lot, they have to move things around just to accommodate. Oh, okay. <laughs> you obviously know everything about it, so please educate us. You're going against my 43 years here, so go ahead. Tell me. Tell me how it is. I'm sure you've watched Blackfish. Wow. <laughs> That is a complete joke. Lord. I wonder what it's like. Do you guys ever sit there and just like start trolling and go to people's lives and just start writing comments just to start problems? Like I always find that, like I get the people that are trying to be funny and make like jokes. But when you're spreading misinformation and just like, I, I just don't understand. It's like two different things. One being funny, <laughs> and it's another to try to convince people when you don't even know what you're talking about. I only block people if they're like obnoxious and vulgar towards people, you know? Like, I have no problem with people expressing it. I'm not trying to change anyone's opinion. Change their mind. I, I empathize with those that don't like animals in captivity. If that was her argument, that is fine. But that's not what it was. She was making slanderous attacks on why is it like this why don't they do this they would if they could there's there's certain stipulations also the coastal commission is very heavily involved in everything that happens here we're within three miles of the coastline here in california so you can't just go decide hey we're just going to build a new uh, 10 billion gallon facility it doesn't work that way but, you know, these people know more than we do, right? So we'll just... We'll <laughs> They're all from California. They know all the rules. We'll just, we'll just ask them. Yeah. And I apologize for those. Like, what the heck is going on? Just, just over the, the trolls. You know? I can take it for a while, but at some point it just gets really annoying. Especially when they don't know what they're talking about. And they just throw random things at them. Obviously, don't know anything about all the conservation efforts. If you feel the same way about San Diego Zoo, then that's fine. That's that's your that's your defense. That's your argument. That's your stance. That's fine. I'm not trying to change your opinion. But last time I checked, this says Scare Ventures. I have plenty of followers. I have plenty of subscribers in our club. If you're not here for it, scroll on. There's a hundred million other people live streaming. Find something that you do with it. That's an answer just flying in the background. Yeah, I know. What's sad is like, you know, these people come in here with these profile pictures that look like they have like a loving family and they're all like family people. Then why are you coming in here and stirring the pot? 
and start shit. Like that, that to me is weird. And you're, a, you're a 180 from your PSP there, lady. There's just no, no room for it. Just move on. Just don't watch. You, can, you know what you can do? I'll help you out. You can go a step further. If you go down to the bottom here, you just click that little the three dots and say you're not interested. I won't pop up ever again in your feed. That's really good. But no, it's the Howard Stern Center. You're waiting for the response. You're here for the response. Just like he dealt with in the 80s and 90s. He had haters hang out longer because they wanted to see what he would say next. You're doing the same thing. You're basically trolling it, just in a different fashion. You're not sharing any facts. You're not sharing anything. Again, if you have an opinion, that's cool. We allow that here. That's fine. Uh, Dolly was, gosh, Dolly was like 50, 54 years old, 55 years old. Dolly was one of the oldest dolphins uh, here at SeaWorld San Diego. I think she passed in 2017. High Flying Dolly. If you guys remember, if you've ever seen any shows from like the 80s or 90s, she could get up. I mean, it was insane. Uh, the one thing they used to do all the way back in the day is they would take somebody from the, the bottom and take it all the way up to the top. Oh, no, I, I take that back. They go about middle. And they're like, do you think that's as high as she can go? And you know, everybody goes, oh, I don't know. And they're like, I think she can do higher. And they go up to the top. And then they had like this little line at the very top of the stadium. And they're like, take it all the way up there. We think she can clear it. She would clear it with like, with, like three feet to spare. It was insane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was Scarlet. I haven't seen her in a while. <laughs> <laughs> I think somebody sent me screenshots of Scarlett. Oh, that, why, is that why? She sits there and her face is all stiff and her eyes are huge. I know. That's not dementia. And changed her opinion, so I applaud her for taking a day or two to actually do some thorough research. Unless she's got dementia along with whatever that is, because that is not dementia. She looked like she was having seizures. Or something. I know. Remember when she passed out on the air? Yeah. That was going to pass out. That was a feature. Et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Hey!